Losses arising from tax claims are among the most significant for the fund. Quantums often exceed our $1 million layer and reach into excess layers of coverage. Couple that with the recent Supreme Court of Canada decisions that restrict our ability to repair mistakes, and so tax practitioners need to be extra vigilant. Here are three common mistakes we see. First, failure to stay current in the law. Tax rules are constantly changing, and in order to ensure that you have developed a tax plan that effectively accomplishes your client's objective, you need to ensure that your tax knowledge is up to date. We've seen reports where potential issues were flagged, but not well analyzed because the lawyer failed to consider a specific provision under the Income Tax Act, or where the lawyer has failed to note a relevant tax interpretation bulletin, or simply failed to carefully think through the steps of a particular tax strategy. One of our claim files involved a capital dividend election on behalf of a corporate client. The lawyer mistakenly believed the dividend could be paid out at any time, not appreciating that it could only be done after the client's fiscal year end, which ultimately gave rise to adverse tax consequences. The standard of care does not require you to know all the law, but rather to have a good working knowledge of the law that is relevant to your retainer. This includes a level of understanding that enables you to investigate potential issues and ascertain the law on relevant points. In addition, it is equally important to retain an expert when you are out of your comfort zone. This is an excellent way to reduce the risk of giving incorrect advice, but ensure that you clearly delineate what the expert is responsible for and what you are not taking on. That leads us to the second cause of tax claims, the failure to clearly set out in writing the scope of the work that you will be providing to your client and who is doing what. This is critical when your client has retained several advisors, including accountants or even multiple lawyers. Here is what happened in one of our tax files. The client retained law firms across BC and Alberta to advise on a corporate reorganization. The BC lawyer identified a specific issue arising from the scope of a definition contained in the Income Tax Act. However, due in part to miscommunication, the issue was not properly dealt with and the transaction proceeded. Unfortunately, this only came to light years later in an audit. As the matter progresses, issues will come to light that may require you to limit, expand, or amend the scope of your retainer in order to best meet the client's objectives. To avoid confusion and malpractice claims, document the change to your retainer and ensure that your client understands and accepts it. Finally, we often see errors resulting from oversights. Examples include inadvertently assigning shares with the wrong par value, or specifying an incorrect agreed amount or fair market value in a Section 85 rollover, reversing critical steps in a tax plan, or in other cases, failing to withhold tax when dealing with non-resident clients. Often the devil is in the details and a poorly implemented strategy can turn an otherwise good tax plan into one that is not as advantageous to the client or worse, results in an unanticipated adverse tax consequence. Obviously, a tax plan is only sound if you implement it correctly. Tax law is a complex and challenging area of practice. Small mistakes in your legal work can give rise to big tax consequences to your clients. Now more than ever, it is critical to take the time and double check your work, develop habits of thoroughness and care, and apply them throughout every retainer to reduce your risk of error. And in the off chance your firm does not have excess insurance, given the potential size of tax claims, I urge you to speak to a broker who is experienced in lawyers' professional liability. Check out our website for names, as a broker will be able to give you advice on managing your practice risk.